Hello, my name is Vic. This is Alex Jones. He's one of the founders of AI Media, a co-founder. Today, we're going to talk about AI Live. I have a few questions that I'll be asking Alex. First up, what is AI Live, Alex? Could you please explain how it's used in schools, for example? AI Live is really an access solution for deaf people. A good example of this, which you have raised in the school environment, in the classroom environment, for example, the teacher wears a lapel microphone, which is connected to the internet. As the teacher gives the lesson in the classroom, the audio goes through the internet to the captioner, who could be working remotely, which could be at home or an office off-site. Then the captioner listens to everything that the teacher is saying and then they re-speak what the teacher is saying, i.e. to re-speak it. And this goes into the software which translates the audio into text. The text then is streamed through the internet back to the classroom where the deaf student is sitting with their laptop and then on the laptop, they will see the captions come up on screen within a few seconds. I'm wondering, what is re-speaking? Could you please explain it? Okay, re-speaking then, for example, for the captioner, they have their own specific voice recognition software. And this software has the ability to know the captioner's own voice. So they become used to that specific person. And so what they do is they re-speak everything that they hear in their headphones, and they re-speak this into the software. The software takes in all the information from the captioner, puts that into the specific context, and then translates that into text. So what really happens is then, for example, in a school situation, as the teacher is giving the class, the re-speaker must listen to everything that the teacher says and then re-speak it exactly as they hear it, but adding punctuation. And this gives the software the context to understand how to create the text. So if I want to use AI Live, what sort of equipment would I need? People who want to use AI Live, this could be any deaf user, they would need to have a laptop. And this would have to have access to the internet, an internet browser. And that means that you can get the AI Live captions on the screen. Sometimes in different areas, you need to have specific requirements to make sure that we can provide full access. For instance, sometimes it's very important to look into what you need People who want to use AI Live would have to register on our website for AI Live. They can register their interest, and then we can have further talks about what specific requirements that you need in order to get the AI Live captions. As it now stands, many deaf people use sign language interpreters. There is some growing concern, though, that AI Live would take over and eradicate the need for interpreters. What is your thoughts? Auslan itself is a very dynamic and evolving language, just like any other language. AI Live, however, itself is not a language. So there shouldn't be a concern that it will be a risk to sign language. AI Live, really, is just live captioning services for deaf people so that they can have access in English. I know that Auslan is really a fantastic language for communicating. It's a real motivator in any setting. For example, in the workplace or in the classroom, when you see Auslan and you meet people, it's always a good opportunity for others then to learn Auslan. But at the same time, AI Live is really designed for a different setting or different situation. For example, in the mainstream classroom or in a mainstream workplace, 
where a deaf person is around many other hearing people. So it's an opportunity for the deaf person to have access directly in word accurate English captions for maybe a specific subject, for example, maybe English, maybe history, geography, science. So it's an opportunity for the deaf student or a deaf person in a workplace to have direct access to English, the language that is spoken by people around them. And also, it allows them to improve their own literacy skills. So that it means that in the future, they have more opportunities in the workplace. And so it has two benefits, really. It's not taking over Auslan, and it's not a threat to Auslan. I are alive is a solution for deaf people. But what about the other people around the deaf person who's using the service? Would they be given training on how it works? I think that's a very good question. Before a deaf person actually uses the service, whether this be in a workplace or in a school setting, for now we'll use the school setting example. We would provide everyone else training on how AI Live works so that all the hearing people have an understanding of the service. We would provide them with a list of tips on how best to use AI Live. For example, one tip that we generally give out is to ask the teachers to repeat the question that may come from another student or another person within the classroom. So that's just one example of the type of training that we offer. If a deaf person is using AI Live, they're sitting at their laptop computer seeing the captions, are they relating to other people in the room? or do they become somehow disconnected? AI Live is really designed in order to provide the deaf user with direct access to the English language that is used in the mainstream environment. For example, in the school environment, I'd like to go back to the school environment I think that the point I'm trying to make is that in the mainstream school environment where the deaf person, in order for them to take in the subject matter knowledge in English with the English grammar, in order to understand the repertoire of the language, the jargon of the language, the vocabulary, and the re-emphasis of the language and what they are reading, In the classroom, it means that if this is provided within captions, the deaf person can follow everything. But your question about communication or the relationships with the teacher or their classmates, we have different functionalities within AI Live which are very, very useful. If you don't have a second or third person supporting the deaf student within the classroom, what they can use is a chat panel on AI Live on the computer. So the student can type in anything that they want. The other person would come along and read this. And so that is a form of communication. But also, the deaf person may need to use a, an interpreter. So they can have both options. If a deaf person is interested in AI Live, say, in their school or workplace, how would they go about? Well, it's really easy. All you have to do is go to our website, which is ai-live.com, and you can register your interest there. Once the captions are produced, is the deaf person given a transcript? Yes. This can be organised with planning beforehand. You can either have notes or a transcript, either for the classroom, university or work. I find that it's very, very useful to people to have the transcript after. Great. Thank you. Thanks for your time today, Alex. It's been wonderful answering a few of these questions. Oh, it's been a pleasure. If there are any other questions out there that people would like to ask more about, then they can go to our website and email info at ai-media.tv. Great. So to repeat that, that's info at ai-media.tv. 
and you're, feel free to ask any questions. Thank you very much.